March day 38 of the English Premier League. Mm -hmm. We started well and it's also ending well. Mm -hmm. We've been here 38 matches. Can you believe it? Yep. Uh, quite some good consistency, bro. Towards yeah. uh, the end of the season, we were a little bit tired, but here we are. Here we are. Yeah. And remember now, Manchester City were crowned the champions mm -hmm. of the Premier League. Mm. Without kicking the ball, this is following Arsenal's 1-0 defeat to Nottingham Forest. Yep. Another loss for Arsenal, mm -hmm. but maybe somebody said it makes sense because when you lose the league, you have nothing to play for. Mm -hmm. No team which will replace you at position two. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. we also saw... Uh, Manchester City uh, winning against Chelsea. Yep. It was the third team of uh, Team C, Manchester City Team C, <laughs> beating 900 million team uh -huh. Chelsea, mm -hmm. one nil, mm. and also they lost to Manchester, Manchester United, despite keeping possession of 75 percent, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but they still lost. Yep. Now top four locked. Mm -hmm. It is a Manchester City Arsenal. Manchester United and Newcastle, Newcastle United. Yeah, but still right. to be decided uh, between Newcastle and Man United. But either last, way, they've, with yeah. this match day. So, will be, I think, an, uh, an interesting match day as well. Uh, yeah. Although there's no much drama, as yeah. a few of the things are already confirmed. And uh, we've seen uh, Brighton yep. making it to the, the first ever mm -hmm. Europa, Europa League. League. Yeah, amazing job! Congratulations by that. to them. I yeah. saw them uh, in their dressing room. There was a video going around celebrating, and uh, it looked so good for them. Yeah, uh, European football is always a uh, prize that everyone is looking for. So, yep. And of course, we expect Liverpool to be featuring in the Europa League. Mm -hmm. They'll be playing against the likes of uh, Ludo Goretz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> many, many, now, you know, uh, funny, funny names. tables have been switched between Liverpool and Man United. Yes. And, um, now they are in the Europa League, and now Man United are in the Champions League. So I expect a lot of banter coming in next season. Yeah. Now, you see, uh, there, there are two things qualifying for the Champions League and uh -huh. also missing out. Exactly. When you miss out, you get bantered. Exactly. For some time, uh -huh. and during the play, yeah. uh, during when the Champions League, Europa League starts, mm -hmm. people will also banter you. It'll be like, Brian, why are you not asleep? <laughs> uh, why are you awake yeah, yeah, at yeah. Past 10 those, p.m. during Champions League nights? We expect and your team is featuring kinds of stuff. Yeah, but I think um, yeah, f many people feel that Liverpool have lost on this one. But uh, putting uh, in mind where they started the season from or where they were in the middle of the season. They did very well to come to make sure that they are playing in Europe. Europe. Something good for them. I saw Salah complaining or, or um, uh, trying to say sorry to the fans that uh, we did not do well to make it to the Champions League. He's the only Liverpool but player. Now, that. Yeah. there's something interesting with that uh, Liverpool going to the Europa League. Man United were there last season. They were not able to win it. Now, it's a chance for Liverpool to win it and they'll, they might even flip the banter and it could be another major cup for them. So, yeah. As they long have a good as, to do no it. worries, as long as the VR are there, <laughs> those, are, those are masters of uh, that tournament. Yeah, but and of course, uh, we talk about Chelsea mm -hmm. in the page two. Um, no Champions League, no Europa League, no Europa Conference League, no Cote Bureau for them. Mm -hmm. So they are in uh, so number 12. now that they missed uh, in the for the Champions League in the Europa League, I think. It's good them, for them to miss out on every other thing because yeah. no one wants to find themselves in the Conference Cup. Um, so finishing 12th is bad for them. They're not looking good uh, form-wise. Doesn't will, look they, good for yeah, a team which spent 900 million. They will, <laughs> they will have a new manager coming in. So probably next season is going to be kind of a rebuilding kind of season for him because he's not that kind of manager who turns things around very quickly mm. so they'll need a little bit of time but um i i guess next season they're gonna have a better season than this season. i'll talk about that once we see poch coming yep. in and the players in cell and the players he'll keep yep. so that's that, that's not something which you can discuss right now every uh, coach comes to the playing style mm -hmm. and uh they are those type of players they suit your play mm -hmm. uh, yes and i think we are here to see that uh, we'll see you'll what see. happens yep and of course, like I said, mm. the league is gone. League it is was gone. gone. 
it was gone. Some like a month ago, I told you when Aston was still top of the table, mm -hmm. but that's not important right now. Mm -hmm. It is huge achievement, a failure and huge achievement yep. for Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, bearing in mind, like like nobody noticed, no nobody could tell Arsenal will be in top four, mm -hmm. leave alone the top two and yeah, challenging. Yeah. Sure. And you need to stop saying Arsenal let the league go. Like uh, <laughs> Three, I, 243 uh, days. I, a I, 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 I once <laughs> I, I once asked someone, mm -hmm. a Manchester United fan. Mm. So you saying Arsenal let the league go is as if United were competing in the Bundesliga. Yeah. Uh, they were in the league as well, but uh, the expectations were different probably at some point during the season. That's why. But again, uh, I think for Arsenal, um, we've, I might mention something uh, when we are predicting the yeah, last want... game of uh, the season. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You we'll talked about them saying um, it's a lesson mm -hmm. learned in the hard learned. way. Yeah which actually made a lot of sense. Yes. So let's dive in in the weekend fixtures on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, whereby all the matches will be played at the same time. Do you yep. know why? Exactly. Do you um, know why? We play matches uh, at the same time. Uh, it should be the obvious reason that uh, they don't want any alterations in any other matches. Match fixing. Exactly. Now that, uh, let's say, uh, Manchester need to finish in the top four, and uh, this team if, is already if, if Liverpool surviving. lose, exactly. United will make it. If they uh -huh. win, yeah. United will drop to fifth. So, so there, to avoid there that. could be that kind of uh, alterations in matches, and uh, that's what they want to avoid. They want it to be as good as it was back then when a Aguero moment happened. Aguero was one of the hurting moments for <laughs> United fans. Yeah, but... Yeah, we like managed I, to I have a friend of mine called Paul. Uh -huh. He's called Paul Sewe. Mm. I was with him. We were watching football somewhere mm -hmm. in a hall called uh, Emirates. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like they, were, they, they had won the league. Mm -hmm. uh, Rooney had done his work. <laughs> uh, Paul Sewe had uh, yeah, like removed his jersey and was like, okay, okay, now, guys, we are waiting for that. <laughs> so additional time four minutes they need two goals that that, that looks like impossible it was, yeah it looked impossible actually. looked impossible and, uh, yeah it but happened. i remember that's when ferguson was like what is happening because he saw some fans reacting like but you you know uh, again uh we talked about uh that fixing during the last day of the epl and to some reason you would think uh, as a man united fan you would think that that game in the last uh, minutes of the game was fixed because QPR might have noticed, yo, we have nothing to lose even we lose this game. So let's give it. Because yeah. I remember so, when when Manchester City equalized. Yep. Around that that was around 90 second 90 minute second with some minute. seconds. Yes. Then Zeko. it was just one minute and just like 30 seconds remaining. Uh -huh. After they conceded, mm -hmm. if they could have started the ball and they played from the back. Yes. Trust me, they could have kept that ball for 50 seconds, at least 50 seconds. Uh -huh. Then you clear the ball you and clear the ball. do yes. and it's done so they just started and they kicked the ball to Man City they give City and then the build up Balotelli, Balotelli. Oh, Zing. Oh, yeah, oh, and yeah Manchester City are still alive here Balotelli Aguero So yes, moving straight to the fixtures, mm -hmm. we're going to start with the teams I have here. Yep. Arsenal against Wolves. Mm. And now this is time for Arsenal to reward. Mm -hmm. You need to reward your fans. Mm. They are taking uh, on Wolves at Emery Stadium. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this match? Um, yeah, I said I would say something about Arsenal. and um, Now it is the time. Is, yeah, now this is the time to say something. And um, I think I've always had some good words for Arsenal, especially um, most of this... Let's Winston was shocked. <laughs> Winston said, hey, Vincent, what did you give Brian? No, no. Praising good. Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal, I uh, really tried. Uh, you're, you're, you're not like Rock. No, Rock is a, is a... Is he a football analyst? Is he? No, he's not. So, he doesn't Bo understand too much. Bo Bo football. He's just a hater. Okay. Uh, he just wants <laughs> Arsenal to lose, lose, lose. And... Um, this is what I was saying. I backed Arsenal to win uh, their previous game. Yeah. I guess Nottingham. And... Um, Played really bad. They give away the league. They like they just delivered the league to City's doorstep. Like we don't want it. You guys have anymore. this. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, it's not very good to end the season in that manner, and um, it can affect you in the next season because you want to end the season as high as possible, even when the league is gone. Yeah. This helps you in the next season, right? So I am expecting them to do well in this uh, game against Wolves because. Um, if they lose this game, it will be like 
hey, uh, I mean, there will be some questions to be asked in the dressing room. We know the league is already gone, but yep. what are we doing ourselves? We need to focus on ourselves, you know. We need to keep playing. Don't be like play. Chelsea. Yeah, don't give up. So, um, if they're going to play bad against Wolves, it will show that uh, their mentality towards even the start of next season, they are going to be a lot to fix again. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm backing them again to bounce back and uh, make sure they win this game. And um, because it's at home and I'm sure uh, Arsenal fans want to see some good show, I'm going for a 3-1 win because I think uh, Wolves will grab one. Arsenal need actually Arsenal need to uh, to keep their heads high. Mm -hmm. uh, is the last game, mm -hmm. their drama. Mm -hmm. So it's a game which will not help us now. Yep. But at some point, like you mentioned, you need to end the season well. Yep. So I think uh, with some players still missing, uh, Wolves will uh, trouble Arsenal mm -hmm. somehow. But at the end of the day, yep. Arsenal will get away with it. Mm -hmm. uh, no Martinelli obviously out for the uh, probably the rest of the season. Like one game remaining, of course. Mm -hmm. the, the likes of Zinchenko. We yep. have uh, William Saliba. Mm -hmm. And one guy I love so much, uh, Grand Jack, I said to play his final match wow. on Sunday against uh, Wolves, and he'll be moving back to Bundesliga and sign for Bayer Leverkusen. Some, some huge news, those. Yeah, uh, so yeah. that means now that's why Arsenal keep on chasing uh, Declan Rice and mm -hmm. also Moses Caicedo. Caicedo. Yeah. yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yep. I'm, I'm going for a 3 0 win for mm -hmm. Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. uh, three 0 win. I uh, yeah. expect Ramsdale to keep at least clean sheet for, for the, the last game, for the season. last game of the season. Yeah. And also well. playing Ramsdale. at home. Yeah, just a few bad moments, but he's been doing well. So I think it will, will yeah. do him good in the last game of the season. There is one match I want you also to predict. One huge match: Aston mm. Villa taking on Brighton. Wow! It is a <laughs> massive game. Unai. Unai Emery. Emery. Yes. Uh, tough game to call. Yeah. Uh, Brighton have done well uh, towards uh, the end of the season by one game where they lost by a very bad margin. They did well against Manchester City. We saw Enciso again. That guy. Won the goal. Scored a wonder goal against Chelsea. He is doing it against uh, Manchester City, the champion. Against a big team. Bro. Yes. That was a wonderful goal. And I think it's among the goals of the season. Oh. We will see. We will try also to recreate these moments uh, in our other episodes post-season. 1-1 uh, one -one draw against Man City in their last game means um, they're playing well. And then there were a couple of disallowed goals. Oh. So I think um, they called Edge Aston Villa on this one. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be an end-to-end -end kind of game, of course. So, um, this is the, are the matches where I go for a 1-1 uh, draw. How about you? I'll pick the same uh, scoreline, either 1-1 draw or 2-2 draw. Two -two draw. Two -two draw. Uh, I feel somehow Brighton have done it. Yep. Regardless of the results, uh -huh. they are in it. Mm. So, they could throw the game. Yeah. They could also give out everything because they also need to feel yeah. the, to give uh, to reward their fans. Finish the season a high. Yeah. Then uh, a team which has been uh, torturing big teams. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Brentford. Brentford up against the champions, Manchester City. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Good game to end the season for Man City. A good test because uh, they lost the uh, previous game against Brentford. Yeah. Yeah. The reverse fixture. They lost two one at home. Yeah. So it will be good to see how uh, they're gonna approach the game. Uh, also, uh, putting in mind they have two other games to play, Man City, uh, in the two FA finals. Cup. Yeah, two finals to play. And uh, the FA Cup is very soon as well. So, it's a tough match uh, for them. And um, I think Guardiola might do the squad rotation the way he does. Uh, he might not uh, start his important players, but he will want to add more minutes to the players who he thinks have not been playing so much. Uh, like uh, um, The likes of Foden. For Dan, yeah. yeah, and Calvin Phillips, yeah. and uh, the rest of the guys who have been have been benched most of the time. I think Mares could start that Mares match as well. Uh, um, Ortega, Ortega, yeah. Yeah, the striker, uh, the little yeah, Alvarez, man from Alvarez. Alvarez. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but Brentford have done well, even uh, regardless of the fact that uh, Ivan Tony was banned. Man, that story shocks me. Ivan <laughs> Tony placed a bet for his team to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a sad story. We don't want to hear those kinds of stories in football because uh, it's, it spoils you the game. your career too. Exactly. So, um, hmm, is that tough one to call? Um, but I think Guardiola is that kind of manager who has some ego. He doesn't want to lose uh, the matches and uh, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. Alvarez to score. How about you? Uh, I think, uh, like you said, mm. Uh, Haaland expect Haaland uh, to be benched mm -hmm. because they are prepa uh, preparing, they are rehearsing. Yeah, he might for, come from the bench maybe. For their arrivals. Yeah. I don't know, it's then 
okay Manchester come from city <laughs> then we have the other uh, the village team Manchester United which is not in the city so I'm going for a 2-0 win mm -hmm. I think uh, you saw yes. city is a team which can still win this, uh, despite the uh, rotation they yep. played against Chelsea mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. so 2-0 win for Manchester, win for Manchester city. city yes I uh, will pick another match this expect this match to be electric mm -hmm. I don't know why mm -hmm. Leeds United taking on Tottenham Hotspur Leeds United versus yes. Tottenham Hotspur uh, Leeds 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 uh, Leeds have been uh, on a poor form this season and uh, so is Tottenham towards the end uh, it'll be a great match to watch electrifying as well uh, but I'm gonna go for mm, 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 <laughs> tough one <laughs> Okay, you are uh, talking between giving a Tottenham win or Leeds. Yeah, you, you know, I was straight to back Tottenham during this season, yeah. and uh, you've they, been losing. They disappointed me real bad. Uh, but for this one, um, they should win this game to end the season as well. Nothing to fight for, of course, but they should they should win two one. So that Hurricane can come to Manchester United yeah. to do what? Welcome to Old Trafford, boy. <laughs> to yeah, do they, what? They, I, I hear he has a very weird accent, Hurricane. But Hurricane. it's not about accent; it's about how you put the ball. At the back of the net, so you will be good. You, you mean no, you, you want to dispose one of the best strikers we have in the Premier League, <laughs> Vegas. Vegas, imagine. Uh, Vegas is a hard working kind of player, yeah. and uh, he might not this maybe, but for him, hard work doesn't pay. Uh, for him, <laughs> he, it has kind of paid off uh, a little. Yeah, there, there are moments where you feel like he could start ahead of Marshall because of the work rate he puts in, but in terms of gameplay. That's where the question comes in. So sometimes you work hard, but you're working hard the wrong way. So, but it is what it is. Uh, he's done. He's done us some good job during yeah. the time that he's been with us. So I don't know if he's leaving or not. But we will come to the transfer when we. True, true, true. Yeah. So what's your prediction? Uh, Manchester United. Um, Manchester United. We talk about Tottenham. Tottenham, I already said. For Tottenham, I already said. I already said they should win. Oh, okay, what are you predicting Manchester United? Uh, Manchester United, they should win their match, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When it's Manchester United, it's Manchester United. Time. Yes, and you know, yes. yeah, when we switched to Manchester United, I thought maybe we were going to predict. And, and I, I saw, by the way, just on a light note, Manchester United fans celebrated Manchester City's victory. Uh, the title more than Manchester City I think, itself. It um, took just uh, Man City celebrated for two hours, and Manchester have been celebrating um, immediately. Do you know how massive Arsenal is? I think it's it's. Uh, Do you know massive how Arsenal is? Listen, I think uh, you can't blame them for that. Yeah, uh, they are weak. Uh, not weakness. Yeah. Uh, you see, banter is different all over. Like Manchester United fans, especially here in Africa, Kenya, Nairobi. Most of them, when they go to uh, banter kind of groups and WhatsApp, wherever they, but in Twitter, wherever, it's all about Gani Kali Katia Arsenal na Manchester. Exactly. So uh, those bragging rights where you would have won the league, these streets will not be bearable. So that's why they. So you're celebrating a Man City win. I don't they are not celebrating. They are just celebrating Arsenal loss, not Manchester. It's, it's, it's Man City win because I think <laughs> Arsenal. Arsenal are trending more than the winners. Uh, you yeah, see how they, massive it is. But Arsenal dropped off as well, so um, it is what it is. So you don't blame Manchester United fans. Uh, not celebrating City to win, they, we, we, waiting we, Arsenal to lose. We call them for, the Ferguson, the, the Ferguson uh, orphans. Yeah. So for banter's sake, it's expected. It's but allowed. as a fan who truly understands where Manchester United or Manchester as a city is headed, Manchester as a region is headed, yeah. I was sad to see Manchester City Lifting win three in a row. row uh, something that five uh, only Ferguson six. I think has done it. Yes, and in I the Premier think League era. His, his, uh, like uh, Guardiola will beat all the records. Exactly the, uh, because. Guys. So again, again between this, Manchester United taking on Manchester City in the FA Cup, mm -hmm. which team you lose about? Uh, I've, that's a dubious question to ask because you of course know which team I support. Uh, you're just trying to play around. So if, we will <laughs> come to that match because of course we'll have if a segment City, If City were playing against Arsenal in the FA Cup, mm -hmm. which team you lose support? Uh, I've been backing Arsenal the whole season. I wanted them okay. to win. The I just need to know if we have another <laughs> fan from Manchester United which supports Arsenal. Uh, uh, so Tottenham, are you giving them uh, two and win? Two and win. Leeds, yeah. uh, I think it will be another goals gallo. Mm -hmm. So I'll go for a three-two. Mm -hmm. 
victory for mm -hmm. Tottenham. Okay. Harry Kane of course will score mm -hmm. and also Son. Mm -hmm. And if you fail to land man, uh, Harry Kane, mm -hmm. there was a bunch which was going around and round mm -hmm. some time back yeah. when uh, was it Higuain? Higuain, Higuain from, yes. yes. When he was at was Chelsea or where? He's been to another there, there, There's a player Higuain. who has been linked, I think, with, with I think, if not Manchester, it's Arsenal. Uh -huh. Then they met. Uh -huh. The deal failed the deal to failed. materialize. Uh -huh. And they met and he scored again. Uh, against, I don't know if it's Arsenal or Manchester. Uh -huh. And it was like, that player has scored against his former team. And he never signed for, I think, Manchester. <laughs> what um, you about Gakpo? Liverpool, Gak goal I think anyway. not, not the reason one. Ah, uh, we, we move on. Let's talk about uh, Liverpool. Uh, but before Liverpool, we we'll mm. talk about Manchester United taking on Fulham. Fulham. I think Mitrovic is back. Mitrovic is back. Yes. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, I, and he was suspended. Mm -hmm. He was given it March. Nine matches. Nine March uh, against Man against yeah. the same same An team. Incident noise. that happened in a game between Manchester. Was United it my Michael Oliver? Three free. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So, yeah. what what do you think? Um, it's a game where Manchester United also need, need to win. To Others uh, will drop to fourth, right? Yeah. If they lose and exactly. Newcastle win their last game, yes, uh, they will drop to fourth again. No one wants to. You want to finish the season on a high. Yep. So the good thing is this game is uh, at Old Trafford. Uh, Manchester United have really tried to make it a fortress uh, this season. After losing 2-1 to Brighton in the beginning, I think they have been able to win most of them and just draw a few at home. And uh, to me, it means it's a strong ground for them. They work harder at home than away from home. So I'm expecting them to win. Um, but Fulham has always been some team against Manchester United. I remember back then when Jera, they, they had a player called Jera. He scored a bicycle kick against us and um, we lost that game and it was pretty bad. So I'm going for a 2 1 win though for Man United because of their home form this season. I, I, uh, I know Fulham is a challenging team, but yeah. then again, United mm -hmm. at home, they totally different and more. Mm -hmm. We've seen them doing wonders mm -hmm. at Old Trafford. So, yeah. and the effort Digi is putting, man, uh, is the Golden Glove winner. Yep. Yes, David Digi, when you have your centre backs are uh, Maguire mm -hmm. and you winning mm -hmm. the Golden Glove, that's amazing. So I'm seeing Digi keeping on the clean sheet and exactly. a three nil win. Three nil win for Manchester United. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Let's talk about a team which has been troubling the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United, mm. Tottenham. Mm. Like I mentioned, we, when we started analysing at the start of the season, we mm. mentioned mm. always we'll get a team which will sneak yes. in top yes, four. Yes, I remember. Yes, mm. and I mentioned that. This mm. team has been mm. Newcastle. Newcastle United. We thought at some point will be Wolves or Brighton, mm -hmm. but yes, Brighton did it, but top yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Newcastle will be travelling to Stamford mm -hmm. to take on Chelsea. Mm. Already, um, already, already dead. <laughs> already dead, dead Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be an easy game for Newcastle. Uh, they've been doing well. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting them to win this game as well, yeah. to finish on a high. Now, the problem for them is uh, their win uh, may not maybe make that difference towards the table because I also expect Man United to win their game. So, but a top four finish is a very good one for them. Provided there's a, uh, the previous season they were around number 18. Uh, they started the season around there. So Eddie Howe has done a great And they lost job. the touch. in Before you met them in the finals of Carabao. Yep. I, I think it was totally a different bit. team. Yeah, that is expected yeah. for uh, in football. Yeah. You can't be on top form for a whole season. Even Man City, there's a point where they drop. You drop points. Yeah, and then now they you came pick. to finish the season on a high. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tipping Newcastle to win that game 2-1. How about you? I think it's going to be tough for... Uh, Chelsea, mm -hmm. but Chelsea, of course, have nothing to lose apart from that match. <laughs> yes, and I so think you mean the only thing separating Chelsea from you see, la last time you talked uh, really bad uh, <laughs> when Chelsea were facing Manchester City, Manchester City and uh, somebody tweeted like Manchester uh, Chelsea's only team to stop Haaland from scoring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, I'm giving Newcastle a 3 1 win, three -one win. against. Chelsea. Mm. Chelsea have done a good job at their match. If they can replicate the same match, mm -hmm. the same energy mm -hmm. they had against Manchester United, yeah, yeah. then they can get something. Yeah, they actually created and a lot of chances. And this is the last game. Yeah. Mudrik was signed. <laughs> this is serious. 100 million. Mm -hmm. Going goalless. Damn. 
you gotta feel for that guy. Yeah, you gotta feel for that guy. He would have joined Arsenal. He would. He has. He has the same number of goals as Rock. <laughs> this season <laughs> in the Premier League. In the Premier League, eh? Except for the fact that Rock doesn't play in the Premier League. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. I forgot <laughs> that. <laughs> Actually, Rock, Rock might have had more because he scored uh, uh, one goal of. Uh, well, you remember when we created we recreated we the best goal. goal. He was one of the best goal. He played on <laughs> no positions. Goalkeeper defender. Yeah. So uh, um, yeah, it's sad for him, but um, for for Rock or for for. Uh, for all of them, oh. because they don't <laughs> score so much. Uh, but for Mudrik, because yeah. we, uh, many people know Mudrik. You know, I dipped Mudrik to score against United. And uh, he almost, he, he almost. missed an open goal chance. Ah, Bro, I was on my knees like, <laughs> why did you miss? And you know, Chelsea had a lot of chances in that game, but yeah. they couldn't finish. And that's why um, they will be looking on how to uh, finishing their chances. And uh, I think we're going to have a post-season where we are going to make sure that we go team by team trying to discuss what they can do to have a better season. Um, yeah, I think we can do top six teams. Yeah, top six and teams. see where they where can they improve. Can, uh, improve in yeah. our next episode. So, guys, we have a lot of content coming up. It, it, it's the end of the season, but for sure. We're also coming to the streets. We are, we'll bringing, some you, we are bringing you content after content after content. We're not stopping there. So, other than the Chelsea match, do you have any other match? Of course, uh, relegated Southampton will be uh, up against uh, Europa League confirmed. bound. Uh, Europa League bound Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, I saw a post where Europa League tweeted saying, Welcome. Welcome to the league. Uh, they did no. that to Manchester last yeah, season. They always do that. Yeah, but some, somebody that. said if we, we are not careful, Manchester might qualify for Europa League through Champions League. Anyway, <laughs> short on taking on Liverpool. You, 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 it is. We have not even finished this season. You are starting next season, and it's always against Man United. Banta, bro, what? you just told me, Katia. You, ju- you, you thought you told me. <laughs> so and I'm, then I'm you blame Man United fans. No, you, you gave me the go ahead. You told me this happens because of this. Thank you. So, uh, Southern are dead. I think you said Chelsea are dead, but I think. No, 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 no. Those are not my words. Show me where I said Chelsea are dead. Uh, let's rewind back. Okay. Uh, uh, Chelsea are dead, but Sutton are dead. <laughs> That's the word we can use. Because they Bro, are it is sad seeing one of the best free kick takers. What pros? What pros going down? Yeah. Uh, you never know. Uh, the Premier League has a lot of uh, poachers who wants to uh, get into no, those. Th- those guys are given yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. And you are promised if you can take team once again back to the yeah, top yeah, flight. Yeah. So you, yeah, you, will, you opt. Exactly. We thought Puki will remain in the yeah, Premier League. He, he went, never did. And, yeah, he never did. Yeah. So you never know what will happen to him. Uh, I felt sad for him, but it is what it is. So I expect Liverpool to end uh, the season on a high. And uh, their squad is back. They're doing well. And um, except for the fact that they drew 1 1 uh, in a game which would have propelled this uh, push for top four towards uh, the end. But um, they should win this one easy. Salah to score and a 3 0 win for Liverpool. How about you? I think uh, Liverpool will now cement their position in the Europa League <laughs> fully. They have already cemented it. Okay, so. it's. I said so, fully. Uh, or they are flowering it now. Yes. <laughs> Icing on the cake. With a 4 0 win against Sutton. Gag Posala to be on the score sheet. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be having a lot of content coming up, as we've said, and uh, it's going to be fire in here, I tell you. Liquid Sports Show is going to, like. We have a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. We'll be also giving our fans yep. the chance yeah, yeah. to analyze their team mm-hmm. are you fine are you content with your mm-hmm. team how mm-hmm. that team featured and yep. stuff something like that yeah so, so yeah for manchester city congratulations we didn't have any episodes after they won so congratulations to man city for winning uh, uh their fans commissaries the commissaries to arsenal yeah commissaries to arsenal, arsenal uh, for losing you the title. and um, my brother is an arsenal fan yeah. and uh and congrats okay you know musoke brian musoke <laughs> musoke yeah, told me sick, but, uh, uh, yeah he, we call him bmw bmw he, t- <laughs> he, he told me arsenal will not be dropping Mm-hmm. And I told him it's mm-hmm. it's not over until it's, it's over. Yeah, yeah we also so have like, Alan. He was ranting yeah. to me like, Alan "Hey, bro, I'm not a retreater, man." <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Alan was also emotional, and um, Leo also. I Leo could see Leo the draw against Arsenal fans out there. We yeah, I'm, I think I'm the only strong Arsenal fan. Uh, um, really? Are you really strong? 
Very strong. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> yeah, but Liverpool already have a trophy, 7 nil up. and um, uh, That's a dubious trophy, but how did it help them? Still finished ahead of them. So, yeah, yeah, for Man City fans, the two of them in the Kenya. The two of them in Kenya. Uh, we have Nana. Uh, they're, uh, they're three. My, my they're oh, they're three, three now. They're three now. Uh, and and uh, probably there'll be four next season because next season. they won the cup. Uh, yeah. There's some glory hunter who will move from move. Um, Arsenal or another team or yes. Chelsea to Man City. Yeah. Soft links and Nana, Vic Meso. Uh -huh. There is an uh, Ibra. Hey, they are growing. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm mentioning from counties. Uh, uh, Vic Meso is in Kiambu County. Kiambu. Uh, Nana, Suave Links is uh, in Nairobi, Nairobi County. Nana in uh, Machakos. Machakos County. Uh -huh. And the other guy is from Nakuru County. So you see, <laughs> it's just spread. We are here to get people from Kisumu and Mombasa. <laughs> so once we do, we'll also congratulate you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been an amazing season. Mm -hmm. uh, expect a lot yep. ahead of the new season. Yep. Come to the end of uh, our roundup March day, uh, the last day of the EPL. My name is Brian. And they call me Vincent. And uh, this is, is the Liquid, Liquid Sports Show. Show.